will, honey. You and Carlton will look out for each other, won't you? Oh, come on. Absolutely, Yvette. We got each other back. Mm. Great. You two just be Love it. careful. All right, who can forget her as the loving Aunt Viv on Fresh Prince Bel Air? Actress Daphne Maxwell Reed has a lot more to add to her resume since then. She joins us now to talk more about her photography career and an event that she's participating in to get Middle Tennessee children reading. Thank you for coming in. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. I said me. it's just, it's precious because you're sitting in the break room and your husband, Tim Reed, sitting in the break room. And everybody walks by and does a double take. And then they came in and they said, half my childhood is sitting in our break room I love right that. there. I love that. We you have know, raised many a child. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. <laughs> so when did you first get involved with photography? When I was about nine years old, my daddy gave me a brownie camera. Oh, do you still have it? No, darling. Don't you wish you did? <laughs> no, darling. Don't you wish you did? Those I like are, the digital even yes. better. Okay, so yeah. now you've been turning this into a career and a book now that yeah, you have. I'm trying to turn it into a cottage industry. Oh, I like that. I started out taking photos photographs and friends said well they look really pretty you know you should start a collection and do an art show and I'm going me an artist uh, I'm just an actress mm -hmm. and they said no no they're very good so I tentatively put up an art collection in uh, one of our local galleries and it went over and I said oh I can do that. I, I, I'm an artist. <laughs> I like that. So I that. just woke up one morning and said, I'm an artist. And so I decided, well, let me see if I can do something with this. The economy changed, so the big prints that I was making uh, were a little too out of reach for gotcha. my audience. So mm -hmm. I said, well, what can I do accessibly? So I took some of my prints that they liked and I made a collection of cards. So I had a collection oh, of note okay. cards. Okay. Now I have six collections of note cards. And every time I make a presentation with the note cards and the prints, they say, well, tell us about taking the pictures because they're all from around the world. I said, well, I've got these journeys to talk about. So I put them all together in a book. There you go. So yes. it's not just the photographs, but the stories behind but them. But the stories behind them, the journeys that took me all around the world taking pictures of doors. Oh, I love it. And doors are symbolic to me. Yeah. They had curiosity, adventure, um, opportunity, and also craftsmanship. And I have an architectural background, so I love the craftsmanship of doors. The antique ones that weather has beaten up, mm -hmm. and the ones that are so hand done that you can see the artist's imprint on each door. I think they're just fascinating. You would love Middle Tennessee because we have got some beautiful antique homes around here, and I'm sure the doors are beautiful. Now, tell me about yeah. the one that's on the cover of the book. This is the door. I did a limited edition of 10 prints of certain. Mm -hmm. This one sold out in about three days. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's from Italy. It was from the Villa Barbaro in Italy. I was there on a trip to Venice and we were taking a tour of the Palladian Villas and this was one of the outbuildings of this wine making facility that mm -hmm. they have at the Villa Barbaro. 1500 this building was built. Oh wow. This door captured my attention because of the way the light hit it it's and gorgeous. the texture of the wall next to the door and the texture of the door just caught my attention, but it seems to catch everybody else's too. It is beautiful. You can get a copy of Daphne Maxwell Reed's books, Doors. It's going on her website and we will also post a link on our website. Just go to fox17.com. Also want to let you know that you'll be reading at the Celebrity yes. Out Loud. This is Celebrity Read Out Loud. It's happening at Cool Springs Galleria uh, starting Saturday. You'll be there at 1230. Yes, that's my slot, but that's they're going to start slot. today reading. They're so. going to have all weekend long, and yeah. you can stop by and see some of our Fox 17 anchors as well. Stacey Case is going to be there at 1130 today. Oh, good. Scott Couch will be there at noon, and then meteorologist Barack Shapiro ends at 1 o'clock. Erica Curry is going to be out there Sunday at 1230. The readings are free, open to the public at Cool Springs Galleria. It's all an effort Come on down. to get kids involved in reading. One of my favorite so things to do. Thank uh, you so much for coming in. It has been a delight. We love Love Very having you nice here. Come to back meet and you. see us. All right, everybody, go out, have a great Come time see us. at Cool Springs Gallery.